Oh, do, do I have a fever? I sure am hungry. I think I'll go to the grocery store and go get some food. But this shortness of breath is making it so difficult to go to the store. <sighs> hey, welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to use the three major grocery stores that are around me. Ralph's, Trader Joe's, and Vallarta. We're going to start with Ralph's. In this video, I want to show you the panic buying, or hoarding as it is, and also go over some of the safety tips that you should know about to protect yourself. Have you become a subscriber yet? Probably not, and I almost don't blame you. But for those who have, thank you for showing support for my channel. It is most appreciated. In this video, I'd like to take a look at the coronavirus, but more centered on the issues that it is bringing on or bringing out the worst in people. This is incredible. I'm going to tell you my story about the coronavirus and how it has affected me and what my belief is on how it is affecting others in their life as well. Through this video, I hope to show you some of the tips for safety and to bring to light some of the things that you may not have even thought about for the people who are suffering, not from the disease, but from the economic problem that this is causing them in their life. And just in case I have to clear something up, I better make this clear. I use the word affected and I am not infected by the coronavirus, but I do have concerns for others. And that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> the sweets and treats aisle totally wiped clean. I guess they aren't going to go without their sugar highs for the day. And here's the meat section, totally empty as well. I guess the parents thought they were going to send their kids off to school with lunches. Okay, I told you I would tell you a little bit about my story on how I found out about the corona virus. Uh, so I'll start here and give it to you in bits and pieces along the video. I had heard of the coronavirus, but it hadn't hit the United States as yet. Looks like they haven't cleared out all the cereals. So mind you, I don't watch television. I haven't watched television in like 20 years. Uh, couldn't handle the reality shows or the quote reality shows. Well, any news I get, I usually get on independent stations and or a little bit off the internet and then I'll do some investigation. Now, I have a Rouse right down the street west of me and I have another Rouse uh, just south of me, but I like to go to Bayarda. Okay, and I'm probably not going to pronounce it that way uh, throughout this whole video. Now, the Ralph's next to me is 24 hours, but uh, like I said, I go to Vallarta, and <clears throat> it's open until 11 p.m. Well, I go there this one night, and there's a paper sign saying, we're closing at 10.30 p.m. I see the security guard just inside the door, and I'm going, well, gee, what's going on? Well, okay, so I go over to Ralph's, because it's still open. And mind you, I haven't been into the Vallarta store. I get into Rouse and I'm walking through. I'm just picking up one or two items for myself and I'm noticing the aisles are kind of bare. And then some aisles, the aisles, shelves are rather, are, are totally bare. And so I wasn't aware of what was going on. I got my items got, uh, that I wanted and uh, was going to get the other items at Vallarta the next day. All right, so I leave Rouse with the couple items that I did want and went home. Well, the next day I go to Vallarta to get the other items I wanted to get and the shelves are empty there too. I'm going, okay, wait, something's going on. You know, I'm totally oblivious to what's going on around me. 
So I picked up a few more items from Vallarta. I went home and I did a little bit of research and I found out this coronavirus is freaking everybody out. Everyone is hoarding and in a total panic. Well, in the research, I'm getting mixed information. Um, it appears though that this coronavirus, people, has been discovered in the late 1960s. Okay, and it was first discovered in the United States March 5th, 2020. Now, personally, how they got the date March 5th is beyond me, but nevertheless, the month and the year is there. So this has been around for a little while before it reached uh, the United States. Okay, so I don't feel too out of touch. I mean, the virus hit the United States only about 14 to 17 days ago. Anyway, I still don't understand the reason for the panic buying myself. Um, it's a virus, and we've had viruses before. Um, so I don't understand why this time everything is being directed at the stores and emptying them out. I mean, I could understand it if it was a nuclear threat, but not a virus. Now, I've asked around to some of my friends and their thoughts were they feel that the panic buying has a lot to do with the fact that the people in place, the government, the medical facilities, they don't know how this is transferred. Uh, seems to me it's got to be an airborne thing, but that's just a guess. But I'm still not making the connection about the panic buying. I mean, we had uh, HIV, it had a number before, and uh, for what, three, five years? They didn't know how that was being uh, transferred from one person to the next. I don't recall any panic buying in the grocery stores back then. Here's a little rundown. In 2001, we had the anthrax. 2002, West Nile virus. 2003, SARS, 2005, bird flu, 2006, E. coli, well that comes and goes all the time, 2008, financial collapse, 2009, swine flu, 2012, the Mayan calendar predicted the end of the world, 2013, North Korea is going to cause World War III, 2014, Ebola, virus. Did I pronounce that correctly? Good enough. 2015, ISIS is going to kill us all. 2016, Zika virus, another one I can barely pronounce. And 2020, ah, the coronavirus. And now panic buying in the grocery stores. Wow. I originally thought the panic buying was so that people wouldn't keep having to go to the grocery store. Uh, but then you're waiting in these long lines and so you're really making yourself more susceptible to catching the disease as you stand there. Now about the conflicting report, it says here COVID-19 was discovered in 2019 and I'm going to believe that this is for the United States. But anyway, there's 6,439 cases found in the United States. Out of that, 109 people have died, but 106 have recovered. Mostly it's affecting people over the age of 59 and it is also affecting some young children. However, I would treat it like pneumonia and get plenty of rest and not exert myself. Now, not because of the virus, but when I get home from being outdoors, I wash my hands. Now, the stores are starting to do what I think they really should have started doing at least three days ago, which is to put limits on how many items you can buy of a certain product. Well, now the economic side of this thing. I'm trying to figure out how people are going to pay their bills and pay their rent when their uh, work and businesses are being closed, uh, supposedly for two weeks, but then I'm also hearing it's going to happen for four weeks. And if I know my government, anything that is four weeks will turn into eight weeks. This is going to be kind of interesting to see how everyone's going to pull out of this because of these shutdowns. Now, I'm all for safety and everything, but, you know, 
wash your hands when you get home and every chance you get and cover your sneezes with your shoulder. I decided to stop by a nearby Trader Joe's and see how they're doing. Much to my surprise, they've got somebody at the front door letting people in individually. And lastly, why would you get in a long line of people, whether it's outside the store or at the check stand, and be amongst a crowded, much bigger crowd of people and take the risk of catching this disease? So people, let's stop the panic buying. It's unnecessary. Adults are making up most of the known cases to date. The first symptoms include cough, fever, runny nose, shortness of breath, and maybe vomiting and diarrhea. Symptoms take 2 to 14 days after exposure, and you won't want to stay in a crowded room for very long periods of time. But hopefully everything will settle back down and we can have some sort of normalcy again in our lives. You take care out there. Normality. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope you will subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. Click on the bell too to receive notice of future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.